If you watch my videos regularly, you'll know I focus on the time modified car scene. Now the time modified car scene is huge, it's vibrant, it's extravagant, it's outrageous, it's completely crazy. Now how do you stand out when you go to a show just a couple of weeks ago, Patum style, which is just the most crazy far out show you can imagine. How do you stand out? That's the problem. Everyone goes bigger, they go wider, they go more over the top than everyone else. And then you get these guys and they steal the show. Patum style, it is the crazy show of the year. These guys, they rock up with this truck and it just dominates everything else. It's higher, it's wider, the wheels are bigger, the tires are bigger. It's just completely more outrageous than anything else. Now, this truck goes to quite a lot of shows. These guys, TTN, Loft Modify, I see them quite a lot. And every time I see them, I think I gotta go and see them because they are the craziest of the crazy, the biggest of the biggest, the widest, the highest, the most outrageous. And as I do modify cars, I really need to go and see these guys because they're top of the tree. Finally, I've come to see them. It was Patum style a couple of weeks ago. I saw their trucks, what they brought down. I'm thinking, I really got, not gotta just message the owner and say, I'm coming to see you. Then forget about it till the next show. Then talk to him again and say, I'm coming to see you. Cause I've been talking to these guys for years saying I'm gonna come round. Not far from my house, one hour's drive. 50 kilometers, we're up in Rang Sit here, straight up the highway. We're actually not far from Bangkok Drag Avenue here to get yourself a position. Anyway, finally I thought Monday morning, I gotta come and see them, I gotta get this done, I gotta find out what makes them tick. Because when I'm covering the modified car scene and trying to show everything, gotta see these guys. And what's interesting, yeah, these guys import a lot of stuff, these guys are fitting parts and selling parts that they're built by other brands, but they also manufacture their own kits. These wings, these surrounds, this bonnet, it is their own style. They manufacture them here in Thailand and they export them around the world. TTN has a worldwide reputation in this field. So this is a company that is doing something with its own DNA. And that's really what I want to get across in videos when I'm talking about Thai modified scene, is to focus on people who are actually building, developing, designing, manufacturing here. The skill sets, the expertise in Thailand, and they're taking it worldwide. That's what these guys are doing. Now the owner, he's just rocked in. He's got a meeting shot up. So this is going to be the shortest ever video I'm going to do. I want him to introduce the company. I want to introduce what they do. And we've got 10 minutes. So we're going to crack into it. Hello, my name is Gob Chai. The, from Love Modify and TTN High Spur Sport. This is my shop for make the body kit, suspension wheel and tie and the, many parts, many accessory for the Ford Ranger and Toyota. Okay. This car is a Ford Ranger Vitek 2015 and the convert body kit, the F120-22 Raptor USA. This headlight is uh, from Alpha Lake USA and this grill is original from USA too. And the body kit, the make from fiberglass and designed by Love Modify and TTN Hypersport. This car is a uh, lift 8 inch and the user hot bit suspension the wheel is 24 14 offset the minus 76 and 8 is mmt 38 15.5 24 this is uh, my this uh, is a clear wheel australia and the e and the side step is uh, from e thailand this uh, loose leg is uh, made by Sulapon 4x4 in Batum Thani. This, this is a uh, custom made for the for the loose stand. This the tail light is from Alpha Lake USA 2. The Raptor bumper style by TTN Hyper Sport, and this you can see around. This car is very really popular to show in many show. The people request this. 
GTN Hypersport is my company. My company, uh, we did the the body kit like a F150 or the Tacoma style for the Ford Ranger for Toyota. Right, is the rear wing, the rear cover is made to F150 2022. Like this in the rear and the front and the tailgate cover. We have the team for design for this to use with the the wheel too much off too much offset outside then the pole then the not have the police not have the problem with the police about the wheel outside this one we designed by TTN high spur sport and the headlight and the everything inside include the body kit too everything on this car is completely huge the mirror sticks out that wide way wider than my body you can have struggle going through the deep soils in Bangkok, but you're going to look cool and you're going to be able to see behind you. Now this I like, if we open the door, the step plate folds down, it's electronic, and if we shut the door, the step plate folds back up, ready to go off-road. One more thing as well before I leave this truck. If you follow my videos, you know I just do it for fun. I'm not a YouTuber, I don't call myself that. I just make videos of fun to try and explain the scene, to show what's going on. So it's me, a phone, a Saramonic mic, a tripod, selfie stick, that's it. I do it all on my own, make the videos, edit them, put them up, just for fun. Now normally when you're doing that kind of low budget, well no budget style, you want to talk about a car, you want to introduce the car, you set up your tripod, you measure the car in the frame, and you have to check that you fit. Because I have stupidly done this before, I've made a really nice long intro. When I go round, I realize the car was in the frame, but the top of my head's cut off. Anyway, this car, I do not need to start checking that I'm in the frame because this car is just way higher than me. It is the biggest thing I have ever talked about and in fact, I can walk right round it and come round to the front and I'm not going to be out of picture. This is just massive. It's huge. It's crazy. It stands out at all the shows. I mean, this is what it's all about. This knocks the modified shows dead when this rocks up. And it's not just Fords, though. We've got a lot of Rangers, Raptors, and Everest around here. They also do a kit for the Revo that turns it into a Tacoma lookalike, pumps it up. So for Revo money and the price of a kit, you're getting yourself a Tacoma, which is just, it looks like it when you stand in front. It looks pretty crazy. It looks huge. It looks pumped up. It's got that American DNA thrown into the Revo because the Tacoma, yeah, it's American style completely. So we've got it all mixed together into this and it looks big and it looks fantastic. And it's gonna be bigger than any other Toyota Revo, any other version of Hilux in Thailand on the roads. This shop, the sale wheel import from the USA brand like a Hot Thai, XF Upload, Fuel, KMC, and XPD. Have from the 17, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. Offset the plus, plus 12, 0, or minus 44, or minus 26 for the truck. Perfect timing 
I'm just about to leave and up rocks this slide with a brand new, new generation Everest on the back. This is gonna be turned into F-150 style, big wide body, big wheels and tires. It is gonna be completely and utterly crazy like everything else. So you saw the Raptor style over there in white with the big kit. This Everest here now, just arriving, is going to get a new F-150 style kit as well. So I'm going to come back in about 10, 15 days maybe when they put the kit on, because the kit is apparently developed and ready, the prototype to go on, and have a look. And for sure, this is going to be selling like hot cakes around the world. So stick with me. I'm going to be back here very soon.